Hello everyone. Welcome back to Emily's Autism Life and if you are new, welcome. So I thought a good topic to cover today would be, you know, talking about, you know, having like autism meltdowns or crying episodes kind of thing. And I know this does happen with a lot of autistic kids and autistic people in general. Or they'll just have like an autism meltdown or just crying episodes kind of thing. And sometimes that's what happens with me is I'll just start having like these little crying episodes like for no reason even. Like it's for, well maybe not for no reason, but for no reason that some others might think it's for no reason, but yeah, sometimes it's just for no, actually, yeah, it is. Sometimes it's no reason at all. You just start having an emotional outburst and like you just start crying for absolutely no reason. Yeah, sometimes it happens where one moment I'll just be happy and cheerful and the next moment I'll just be in tears kind of thing. Now, this doesn't happen all the time. It used to happen a lot more in my younger years, of course, because I was a kid. You know, now that I'm, I am an adult, it does happen still, but it doesn't happen as often. And sometimes the crying episodes come from these imaginary, non-realistic scenarios that I create in my head. Yes, I am a person who does that, is I think of unrealistic scenarios like and sometimes they worry me and i'm i'm like i know that's not likely to happen kind of but what if it does kind of thing and sometimes those moments can start crying episodes for me as well you know sometimes the crying episodes only last maybe a few minutes sometimes they last all day it just depends really what it is even though I am an adult and I'm 24 years old now, sometimes I still do have meltdowns. Not like crazy, like tantrum meltdowns, but just, you know, light meltdowns kind of. Like they can happen when I'm frustrated at something. Like, for example, if I'm trying to get something to work and it doesn't work sometimes, you know, depending on what it is, it will cause a meltdown for me. Meltdowns can also occur if I'm like arguing with someone like my parents, you know, sometimes depending on what we're arguing about, sometimes that can cause me to have a meltdown. And yeah, we, whenever I had get into like arguments with my parents or anything or anyone else for that matter sometimes that can trigger a meltdown because like i said it depends on what we're arguing about so meltdowns they do happen but they don't happen very often like i said meltdowns can come from either me being frustrated or arguing or you know stuff like that but i wanted to mention that another thing that can cause a crying episode for me is when I get extremely jealous. Sometimes what happens is, is I get so jealous, like I get upset, and sometimes it triggers a crying episode. Crying episodes can also happen from me just having a rough day or an off day, you know, kind of like you know, we've all been there, like, when you say, today is just not my day. Because everybody has rough days, and everyone has off days, and... Yeah, sometimes I just... I just start, you know, crying episodes from just having either rough days or off days. A lot of my crying episodes do come from hormones as well. And then usually after, if I've done it for... You know, as long as I need to, I'll feel better. You know, because sometimes that's the only way to feel better is if you just let it out, not hold it in. So there you have it, guys. My autism crying episodes and meltdowns and what usually causes the triggers of them and 
how I deal with them. That's going to be it for today, everyone. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.